what's up? I hope you had a good Monday and I hope you're ready for Christmas because that is just around the corner, which means that 2016 is almost over. Can you believe it? 2017 is only a couple weeks away. So anyways, uh, this week I'm going to go over part two of the Iliasoas. Last week I went over part one, which was the Iliacus. So if you didn't see that, go back and view that. Um, it doesn't matter which order you watch them in because they're both pretty much the same muscle, okay? Now, in this video, I'm going to go over the psoas major and the psoas minor. And the reason why I'm stating that is because there are a lot of people out there that do not include the psoas minor with the iliopsoas only because it doesn't act on the hip because of where it inserts onto, okay? So I will go over the location, and I will try to point out where it is on my body. However, because it is a deep muscle, I will not be able to pinpoint exactly where it is on my body. Um, I will go over functions and finally exercises after that. Um, so as far as exercises and strengthening the psoas muscle, yes, it is important, uh, just as strengthening any other muscle. However, it is also important to stretch the psoas muscle as well because the psoas muscle can become tight and you will notice uh, tightness in the hips, possibly some anterior pelvic rotations. <coughs> so um, if you're sitting at a desk all day, playing video games, watching TV, so on and so forth, you'll probably experience some tightness in the psoas at one point or the other. Um, so it is important to stretch it just as much as you strengthen it, okay? So anyways, to get started with location where about the psoas muscle is, let's get started with the origin of the psoas muscle. Now the psoas muscle, uh, the major and the minor, both originate on the same spots. Um, they originate on the transverse processes of lumbar vertebras one through five and it also originates on the side bodies of thoracic vertebra 12 through lumbar vertebra 5 okay and that's t12 all the way down through l5 all right and it also originates on those intervertebral cartilages as well all the way down to the base of the sacrum as well so they originate, if you think about it, it's pretty much a solid line, clean up and down your spine, and then finally onto the base of the sacrum. So we're looking about, right about in here, okay, is where the psoas muscle, both the major and the minor, originate, okay? And then they insert onto two separate spots. The psoas major inserts where the iliacus did so we're looking at the lesser trochanter of the femur and the shaft just below that lesser trochanter, okay? Now that's the bony little knob on the inside of your leg um, towards the pubis, though. So it is on the inside of the leg towards the pubis and on the shaft just below that. And then the psoas minor inserts onto the pectineal line of the pubis. Okay, and that is pretty much on the inside of the pubic bone, about right in here. Okay, so there would be basically two psoas muscle, one on the left and one on the right. Okay, so uh, if you exercise one side, obviously you can contract them both at the same time. They will create uh, one movement, not two separate movements, obviously. Um, so now that we know where the muscle is, we can now apply functions to the muscle. Okay, now the psoas major and the psoas minor both uh, do lumbar flexion. Okay, lumbar flexion, bending at the lumbar spine. Okay, we're also looking at lateral lumbar flexion as well. Okay, so that's pretty much side bending. Now remember, if you're leaned over like this, you would be working this muscle because you have this side stretched. And this side is already contracted. So then you contract this side. Okay? And we also 
are working hip flexion. Okay, hip flexion. Now that would be more of the psoas major because of where it inserts onto. We are also looking at lateral pelvic tilt. Okay, now that would more than likely be the psoas major and minor. Okay, so lateral pelvic tilt again would be lifting one side and the other. Okay, so we have lumbar flexion. Okay, we have lateral lumbar flexion. Excuse me. Okay, we have lateral pelvic tilt and we have hip flexion. Okay, so now that we know the functions of the psoas muscle, we can now apply exercises to them. Now, the exercises for the psoas muscle, uh, if you were both sides, you can do sit ups. Okay, and then obviously there are many variations of the setup. You can also do leg raises, which would more work um, the psoas major muscle only because of where it inserts onto. Okay, now for leg raises, there can be possible strain on the back. Now to look for less strain on the back, you're looking to do leg raises with bent knees. Okay, it's kind of like a load or a pail of water. Is it heavier if you hold it out here or is it heavier if you hold it here? Obviously, it would be heavier if you held it out here. So, the longer the lever, the harder it is. Okay, so you have leg lifts. Okay, now if you're new to exercise or exercising or you're new to leg lifts, I would recommend doing the bent knee leg lifts first to create less of a strain on your lower back. Um, now remember, somebody could easily do, you know, 50 of these and be fine, as to where some person may only be able to do 10. Uh, weight and heaviness together is all relative to the exerciser. Okay, so what's heavy for one is not necessarily heavy for another. So give it a try and uh, figure out what works for you. Also, you can do side bends as well. Okay, now remember, because I'm bent down to this side, this side is stretched, so I'll be working this side on the way up. So it's stretch and then contract. Okay, and then on this side. Okay, so there are a few exercises and there are many, many, many variations of them all. They are pretty much flexible. Um, so just remember, just as important it is to strengthen the psoas, it is important to stretch the psoas because again, this could cause a lot of tightness in the hips and you could have back problems, hip problems, so on and so forth because if you throw uh, one muscle off, um, it could create uh, havoc, play havoc on your body and make other muscles work way harder than what they need to. So keep that in mind and please remember to stretch your psoas muscle and your hips. Okay, so I hope you've learned something. If you have, click like, share it, and pass it on to a friend. I'm sure somebody will make use of it and... Have a good Christmas, everybody. See you guys next week. Thanks for watching.